Today, here on Blue Shift Ministries, we're going to talk about a very precious subject that's very dear to Father's heart, and that is the children. We must protect our children. Children are exposed to so many evil things these days. My God, it's so, parents must be at such a loss because it's such an impossibility to raise children in today's world with so much garbage in their faces and so much uh, evil things and so many bad habits. These bad habits, and I encourage every parent watching this video, you must, you must, you must install in your children a, at a very early age, repentance. You're never too young to repent and you're never too old to go to hell. You must install this in your children to start repenting at a very young age. The bloodline, repenting for their sins, repenting for their bloodline. So this way, by the time they reach our age, they will have a far better chance of surviving in this world. Because they will have so much knowledge and so much understanding. Children, yes, can go to hell. When a child reaches a certain age, a toddler, and they know what's right and wrong, and they keep doing that wrong, and they keep getting worse and worse, yes, a child can go to hell. Because now the child has a certain level of understanding as a toddler. They know they're crossing the line. And when they don't repent for their sins, they will be charged for it. Unfortunately, there are many children in hell. But they don't have to be. Your child doesn't have to be. I would encourage parents and say, hey, let's play a game. The game is called repentance. And we're going to repent for our sins full-heartedly. We're going to repent for the, for the sins of our bloodline. But let's go with the personal sins first before the bloodline. Because maybe they could be a little bit too young for that. You could start off like this. I repent in the name of the Lord of Jesus Christ, Son of David. Father, I repent. I repent for my sins. I ate too much candy today, Father, and I repent. It's not good for my teeth. You see, little things like that, but they're not little. In the name of the Lord of Jesus Christ, Son of David, I repent. I repent for all my sins. I repent for playing the video game for too long. I repent. Things like that. In the name of the Jesus Christ, Son of David, I repent. I repent for my sins. I should have helped my mother with the dishes and with the laundry. Father, I repent. As you encourage your children with this good habit, you will notice they will start to improve because now Father Jehovah Jireh's essence came in. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And when Father Jehovah Jireh's essence comes in, it encourages positive growth. It encourages the child now on its own will start to pick up the Bible, read the Bible, encourage good things, good habits. Perhaps they wouldn't want to play the video game so long. Perhaps they don't want to feel like eating so much candy. These positive things is what every parent needs to encourage their child. So that way, by the time they reach adolescence in our age, they're going to grow up to be very strong, powerful adults. Where that boy will grow up to be a man. And that girl will grow up to be a woman. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Where that boy will grow up to be a man, a real man. And that girl will grow up to be a lady. Now we're talking in the image of God. And they will want to serve Father. Maybe they'll start a ministry. N not that I um not that I will um say, say one thing or another. No, of course they'll choose their own career path, but it will be the career path that Father has destined for them. Not something that's influenced by the devil. Not, the, not something that's influenced even by you as the parent. No. Remember, we want our children to grow up according to what Father has destined for them. We want to grow up 
according to what Father has destined for us. We want to become according to what Father Jehovah Jireh has written in our books of destiny. I'm going to do a video on that, books of destiny. We want to be the incubator of the empowerment of Father Jehovah Jireh's expansion. That is what we want to be and do. We want to take on that image of Father and expand on it. And expand on it so wide, so big, so powerful that it will knock down the devil's dark kingdom. That there will be no room for him. As well as they shouldn't be. Because I feel people give too much room and too much leeway and too much attention on the devil. That attention belongs to Jehovah Jireh and what we need to do for him. We have to take more responsibility as Christians. We need to build our children up and break the devil down. We need to build each other up and break the devil down. We need to build for Father's altar and break the devil's altar. In the name of the blood of Jesus Christ and David. May every child who watches this video know and understand that you have a destiny with Father. Every boy, you were meant to grow up to be a man. Every girl, you were meant to grow up to be a lady. And to every and all boys and girls and children who are orphans, repent. Surrender to Jehovah Jireh. For you are no longer an orphan. You have a family in heaven waiting for you. Your father is in heaven. You're no longer an orphan. You have a father that loves you so much. He loves you very much. There are no orphans in heaven. Come to the kingdom. Come to Father's kingdom. And serve him and serve him only. In the name of the blood of Jesus Christ and the demon.